What's up, guys? I'm Ryan from the New York Beef Council. You know, I'm, you know me as the man with the pan, and I'm here today with... Kelly Springer. I'm a registered dietitian with Apples from New York, and we are excited to make what? Beef bulgogi? What is rap? So <laughs> I'm probably butchering that word. I, I feel like I say butchering. that every time. Butchering? Uh, ah, uh, see? We're, pun <laughs> we're getting punny now. We've been at this for a few hours. Um, so right now, we actually have a flat iron steak, and we're going to make a marinade for it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you knew this, but the flat iron is actually one of the most tender cuts. That is really interesting. So usually you use this type of tenderization, right? But we don't need to. We're just doing it for flavor. Exactly. Okay. So if you're marinating something very quick for like maybe 30 minutes just for flavor, if you're doing it longer for a few hours, you're looking to tenderize gotcha. that meat, all right? Okay. This one's going to be quick though because like I said, one of the most tender cuts, delicious, Yum. comes from the chuck, so good. So let's get this in here. Okay. All right, so we just got a freezer bag that we're going to add this in. So mm -hmm. we'll put the steak in, and then what we have right there. Apple cider vinegar, we're going to mm -hmm. add this in. And then we're going to add in our garlic. Here we go. Cool. Soy, is this our soy sauce? Yes, yeah, so we have soy sauce. It actually, the recipe called for miso paste. We couldn't find it in the store on our way here. Swapped it out. So we swapped it out for some sesame. Uh, okay. Sesame. <laughs> soy sauce. <laughs> okay, so we've been at this for a little while. Some uh, ground pepper. Yep. And... Uh, some ginger. It's like pureed ginger. We may or, need a spoon that? for this. For this one? Hang on. One Where's second. Our sous chef? Hang on, everybody. Time out. Pause. Just kidding. Live TV, except this isn't live. But we're going to be good. Ooh, let's not make Here it last. Here we go. Look at this little mini spoon. That's perfect. It's almost yeah. like you planned for this. I think I did. Cool. There we go. All right, so we'll put that in and seal it up. Make sure you seal it up good because you're going to throw this in your fridge for a half an hour. Mm -hmm. And we're at your house, so I don't want to mess up Otherwise, your fridge. Otherwise, your fridge will smell <laughs> delicious, but this will keep the smells in. And we also oh, just want to give it a little massage, too, just to make sure it's, it's all, all coated. Okay. And that's pretty simple. It goes in for a half Plus, hour. It smells really good. Yeah. So we'll come back, we'll cook it, and then we're going to make a bulgogi sauce. Amazing. And we're going to use some apples, some Macintosh, which are tart. It's going to be delicious. Awesome. Can't wait. And we have amazing apples. What kind of apples do we have? Macintosh. Oh, they're Macintosh. I was going to say, are, I was gonna say, are these the Fujis? Are these the Snapdragons? We've done so many apples. We I are keep so, these, all of these are so good. And these are tart. And so what else do we have for this sauce? So we've got some apple cider vinegar again, mm -hmm. just about a quarter of a cup. We have some, this is actually dark brown uh, sugar, but you could do light brown sugar. Some red pepper flakes, some ginger that's like i keep saying it's pureed but i think it's paste like ginger paste yeah. i would say yep um some minced garlic some sesame oil and some soy sauce we were talking before we started um filming that sesame oil actually has antioxidant properties and anti-inflammatory properties love that right it's gonna be delicious and we have our onions here covered I know, I because we were all crying <laughs> yeah. we could be crying on the film so that's why they're there so let's make the sauce awesome we'll put this on a hot pan and get it going that's good So we were just talking about how I've never even had a lettuce wrap before. Which is crazy. Yeah. But that's kind of awesome because I'm going to show you how to do this. Please okay? do. So we have bib lettuce. I love the bib lettuce because they're big, huge lettuce leaves. They're perfect for doing this. So just break one off and you can see how big they actually are. And so we're going to put it down flat and then we're going to add in our amazing beef. 
add it in, and then we're gonna add in this perfect, amazing combination of the Macintosh apples, the onion, the brown sugar. So we're getting all those flavors, and we were talking about that, that sweet, the salty, um, and also that tart from the apple. So this is where, this is for you. I made, oh my God. I made it just for it you. Looks per and it's like perfectly shaped. It's like the right? best vessel for something like this. Look at that. Awesome. My first lettuce wrap. If they're so delicious. You're going to get lots of nutrients. I love adding uh, lettuce wraps too because you're getting more vegetables too. So always pairing that protein and fiber together with the apples getting some fiber as well. So this is a perfect meal.